Standoff that lasted for hours is finally over after the suspect surrendered peacefully. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Virginia Cha. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joining us live from Paradise Hills. Mimi, police say this started out as a domestic violence situation? Right, Virginia Jason, and they believe that the suspect was armed when he barricaded himself inside of an apartment here at the Mariner's Village complex. Now, the victim is believed to either be his wife or girlfriend. She did have visible injuries after an incident between the two this morning, but finally the man did surrender peacefully and neighbors were allowed back into their homes. I ran outside, put my jacket on, and then I saw that there was police over here, like with their guns already drawn out on the apartment, and then... um Oh my God, this is crazy. It's been very scary because people cannot leave to go to work. They can't go to school. Like, this is very disturbing. A call out outside of the apartment complex started at 5 this morning, alarming those neighbors as they started to evacuate. A SWAT team surrounded the area as 39 year old Isaac Cross barricaded himself inside, refusing to come out for hours. Police say Cross committed several felony crimes against the victim, including criminal threats, brandishing a firearm, and physical assault. She was left visibly injured, police tell us. The couple's adult son was also inside of the apartment at the time, but left at the officer's request. After multiple attempts, though, Cross finally surrendered and came out peacefully. The victim did not have to be taken to the hospital. Right now, police are searching for the weapon inside of the apartment. Cross was on parole and has a criminal history, so he is facing several felony charges. We'll let you know what happens next. For now, we're live in Paradise Hills. Mimi Alcala, 10 News.